welcome to the session of vibration engineering uh, in this session we will try to understand what is a dynamic vibration absorber we also call it a passive vibration absorber i will start with the basic operation of a vibration absorber and then we will see the mathematical part of a dynamic vibration absorber to understand the function of a vibration absorber let's consider a problem of a pump mounted on a platform the pump is rotating with certain rotational speed and because of the unbalance in the forces a force is acting on the platform the platform is having stiffness k in the vertical direction and the force acting on the system is denoted by f0 cos omega ft where f is the excitation frequency i am assuming m is the mass of the pump and the k and k is the stiffness so i can say that the total stiffness may be 2k when i will calculate the response of this system using the force vibration philosophy i am getting that the response is coming of a significant amplitude now if i want to reduce the vibration of this system i can use a dynamic vibration absorber and the philosophy of vibration absorber is that we have to add an additional spring mass system on our parent system so now let's assume a secondary spring mass system of stiffness k and mass m and the basic requirement for the vibration absorber is that the natural frequency of vibration absorber should be should equal to the excitation frequency here omega is the excitation frequency of the pump let the pump is exciting with a 50 hertz value then this natural frequency of this vibration absorber should be 50 hertz so and the next job is to add the vibration absorber on the actual body so when i will add this vibration absorber to the main system i will observe that the response is now reduced significantly and now the mass m is vibrating with very large amplitude please uh, understand that i have considered a system then i have added a second system to the system assuming that the natural frequency of this second system is matching with the excitation frequency when i will add the secondary system i will observe that the primary system will now vibrate with very less amplitude and the secondary system is vibrating with a higher amplitude so we can also see the same uh, use of vibration absorber for a multi story building let's assume that we are having a multi story building and here i have made the mathematical model of this multi story building and i am showing three different modes of multi story building corresponding to frequency f1 f2 and f3 since f1 corresponding to the first mode it will be lower than other two values and now i want to add a vibration absorber corresponding to the first modal frequency so what i need to do i have to design a vibration absorber whose natural frequency should match with the first mode frequency so i will make a vibration absorber using k1 by m1 of equal to the f1 value and i will add the vibration absorber at the top mass i can also use a different type of vibration absorber instead of using a spring mass system i can use a beam with a mass m both will have equal effect and when the beam when the actual building will vibrate vibration will uh, absorber will absorb the vibration of the building and vibration of the building will reduce and vibration of absorber will be high now if i want to use a vibration absorber corresponding to second mode frequency please understand that a single set of vibration absorber work for a particular frequency we cannot use a single absorber for two different frequencies because it is having a unique natural frequency so let's if i want to design the vibration absorber for second mode i can use a second system having m2 and k2 and the k2 by m2 square root will be equal to the second natural frequency now you can see here that in the first case when i was trying to reduce the vibration of the first mode i have added a vibration absorber at the top mass but here i am adding it at the second mass why because the vibration absorber work 
effectively when it will add to a point of maximum displacement we can see here that in the first mode the top mass is moving with the large amplitude in the second mode i am considering that the second mass is moving with the large amplitude and similarly if i want to add a vibration absorber for the third mode i can assume that the this mass is moving with the larger amplitude and for this purpose when i will design a vibration absorber for the third mode i will preferably add my vibration absorber at the on the third mass and the natural frequency of this third vibration absorber will be equal to the f3 now to understand the mathematical part of vibration absorber let's uh, start with the force vibration response of a 2 degree of freedom system because the basic philosophy of vibration absorber is based on the response characteristic of a 2 degree of freedom system and for this purpose let's consider a 2 degree of freedom problem here i have considered a 2 degree of freedom system having three spring elements and two masses i am applying a harmonic force on the first mass and the magnitude of harmonic force is f0 cos omega ft when i will write the equation of motion for this system this will be my first equation where i am having force on the right hand side this is my second equation i as i am not having any force on the second mass the right hand side for this equation will be zero when i will add the general solution into my governing equation i will get the response of the system here i am not going through the mathematics of the response i am directly writing the formula for the response so when i will put the general solution into my governing equation i will get these two response equation in the first equation is corresponding to the response of the first mass here we can see that the f0 is coming in the uh, numerator and the k2 plus k3 omega uh, f square and m2 omega is the excitation frequency similarly here is the response for the second mass if i will i can see here that the response is a function of the excitation frequency as well as the other component so if i will make a plot between the response and and the ratio of the two frequency two frequency mean the first natural frequency or i can use the second natural frequency here i am plotting the response corresponding to the ratio of omega f by omega 1 omega 1 is the first natural frequency or first eigen frequency which i can calculate using the eigen value formulation so now when i will see the response characteristic i can see that as the excitation frequency is increasing because the natural frequency of the system will be a constant and i am changing the excitation frequency so as the excitation frequency will increase and when it it will match to the natural frequency therefore the ratio will become 1 i will have i will be having a large amplitude vibration of the first mass here the con, uh, solid line is corresponding to the first mass when i will increase the frequency further my formula will give me a negative value but again it will be a very close to the infinite so i am writing my uh, i am uh, plotting my line from the negative infinite and as the frequency will increase the response will become zero at certain value the certain value will be corresponding to a particular value of excitation frequency and again it will increase and go to the positive infinite direction and when it will go further again it will start from the negative if infinite direction and it will go in this way similarly when i will see the response of the second mass i am having the similar pattern but i can see here that for the second mass initially it will go to the infinite value when it will go further it will start from the negative value when the first one will be reaches to zero it will also be very close to the zero but after that the response will go again to the negative infinite direction and further it will come from the positive to the negative i mean i would suggest that you should not bother that what how these lines are going because when you will put the value of excitation frequency keeping all the values a fixed value you will find this response you can use any computer 